Hey Sagittarius, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your December love reading. Happy birthday to you. Uh, this is December 2018. This is a love reading. So if the messages resonate for you, that's great. If not, you know, I know I always say you can check your Venus, you can check your moon, you can check your rising. But lately I've been thinking that's just so complicated and then you get mixed up with so many different messages. So let's try and keep it simple for December. I'll try to touch on every message that I get, but you know, if you don't hear something that resonates for you from me, then, you know, maybe it's just not for you this month. Okay. These readings are ge very general. So, um, I may be taking a hiatus, hiatus in January of after the new year, just because I have a new, um, change in my career. I have actually another job. So, um, I, I just want to leave that open. I will do my best to try to get your January read love readings out for the new year. Um, so, in the meantime, let's see what's going on. Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy holidays. And one of the love energies for Sagittarius for December 2018. Okay. I'm using my mini Rider weight deck. So hopefully I'll be able to fit uh, everything on the screen here. Okay, so we have the High Priestess present. Two of Cups is crossing. The star card, which is at the root of the problem. Queen of Pentacles in the past, which can be male or female in your reading. Crowning is the Ten of Cups. Near future is the King of Swords. Position of you and your advice. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Your environment and the other person if you're inquiring about someone else or if you're single is the Three of Swords. Hopes and Fears, Page of Swords. And the outcome is the magician. Now let's take a look at your love energy here before I get started on your reading. Love messages for Sagittarius for December 2018. You know what? I was going to shuffle these like the traditional way to shuffle. But these cards are so big and bulky, so I'm not going to. Okay, let's see. One more. Okay, stay optimistic about your love life, Sagittarius. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, yeah, um, you know, I know some of you are just, like, fed up. You're sick and tired of being single. You're sick and tired of meeting people who are just completely, uh, just full of themselves. And, you know, I was just picking up in this card. <clears throat> you're off a lot of you have been offering yourself to someone who's just constantly in hiding or they're always running away um are they just you know kind of in this place where they act like they're injured or they just or they just don't look at you you know they just or, or just someone, or just the energy that surrounds you, and, and I just feel like you, that's always you, you know, you're so generous, and warm, and playful, and fun to be around, male or female, and you're, you're always offering your love, you always have, and I, I think, like, don't be discouraged, not that the reading, I don't know if the reading will come out this way or not, but try not to be discouraged about love, in the month of December. And that's what this card is saying. Keep offering. It, you know, it doesn't mean you have to like bend over backwards, but just stay in that optimism, optimistic place. Now, I want to make something really clear here. Some of you are dealing with people who are extremely selfish, even borderlines. You know, some of you are dealing with people who are just, it's all about what they want. They take, take, take. And, and I, I don't like to throw around the term. I know that's a heavily used term, narcissist, in this day and age. 
And I think there's a lot more um, of them and of us these days because of um, social media. But it, that per, that needs to be something these people need to be diagnosed by an actual doctor. But if you have someone who has been abusive to you, don't stay optimistic about that person. That's just all that I'm trying to say here. Your past physician is the queen of pentacles. Okay, so... Some of you could have been de dealing with a male or female earth sign in your past. And this person, they were always just focused on work or always focused on their money, their abundance. Not that it's negative, okay? They were definitely putting themselves first. And I don't feel like they were making time for you in the past. They just were very focused on, a lot of them were, you know, the, the coins. Whenever I see one of the core cards, you know, looking at their coin, I feel like, if you're a male, you were dealing with a female who is very self-centered. Um, she was always looking at her, her, her stuff or always looking at her self in the reflection or always in the mirror. She was just very, you know, Queen of Pentacles, when she's in the upright, she's not, she's not negative in any way, but she's very focused on her own abundance and what she needs and what she wants and what she's trying to get. Now, that could have been you as well, where you've just been so focused on career um, and what you have and watching your life expand. Some of you had a pregnancy as well or could be pregnant currently, found out you were and Maybe we're contemplating this pregnancy or not sure what to do or not sure if there's enough money or, you know, holding this idea in your hand and, and or, or contemplating or thinking about, do I want to be pregnant someday? Okay, male or female, you know, for the males, do, do I want this person that I'm involved with to have a child or do I want to have a child with them, you know? Um, but I feel like either you or somebody else from the past just not focusing on you weren't looking at them and they weren't looking at you, um, one or the other. It was all about focusing on what I have, what I need, how I will continue to get this, what I have to do to get this, and only feeling relaxed and comfortable in your own abundance or them in their own abundance. But the thing is, I feel like whoever you were dealing with, they were hiding something. And I really feel that it was a challenge for them to try to, or at least for both of you, to be open and honest about the connection or that there was a really good connection and that the two of you were healing. I feel like the energy was at least going into December is that it's, it's not time to reveal this secret, either one of you. It's not time to open up and tell the other how you really feel. In fact, it's also somebody wants to tell the other person that they want to see them again, but is keeping their mouth closed about it. And I think that's you, Sagittarius, because I don't think you're trusting that this person is really your your, it's the one you, you are connected to. Now, either you're dealing with an earth sign or there's a, um, an air sign, an Aquarius mostly. Either way, I feel like what's driving this reading and why you're here is because you're trying to find your hope and your faith in connection to this connection with this person. You're trying to stay optimistic, of course, because I feel like you kept giving and this person just was taking from you and I you know with the high priestess she the high priestess holds everything in she she keeps her secrets she doesn't tell she doesn't tell really people how she feels like on a really deep emotional level and and I do feel like whoever you were connecting with in your past you still feel that way about them but you're just not saying anything because I feel like you almost clammed up because they weren't even paying any attention to you in the past. So you were just like, I'm not going to say anything because they're not interested. Or they're acting like I'm not important. So I'm not going to bend over backwards to say anything. But you're still trying to keep the faith about them because you want that connection with this person. The Ten of Cups. You want the, that happiness. You want 
maybe even a family or children or to, or to have um, a child if you're at that age where you still can with this person. It, it, but it's just something about there's no communication. There's a lack of communication about this. It's a challenge. It's difficult. It would be in your benefit to act, for both of you to actually get together and just talk. You know, just talk. And tell your deepest secrets. Speak from your heart and your, your intuition. If you have something to say to this person, Sagittarius, then you need to come out and just do it. You just need to tell them. Put your cards on the table. Be up front. Tell them straight off. Or straight up. I don't know how's that saying go. You want that family. You want maybe a child with them. You want them to pay attention to you. These are things that you need. And you need to tell this person that. Because this is in your challenge position. And it's also a benefit for you to do that. You need to open yourself up and not keep these secrets. Or not be fearful to tell them because they're not paying attention to you. If they're not paying attention to you and you need that, then you have to tell them that. Now your near future is the king of swords. So again, you're, you could be dealing, you know, this person is coming in. So it could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, uh, male or female. This person has their sword up, but they're going to listen. Because look, even if this is... Even if this was their energy, don't look at whether this is a king or a queen. It's not gender specific in these readings. So even if this is someone who was only looking down at their own stuff and they weren't paying you any attention, once you speak, now you have their attention. Look, four of wands. They're going to listen to what you have to say. If you want that happy home, if you want to reunite with this person, if you want to, you know, uh, come back to see, I don't know. I see that they're going to actually look up from whatever it is that they're doing and they're going to pay attention to what you have to say. There's the Six of Cups. So I just feel like... Um, this card is so important in your reading right now because it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. The star card is about faith and healing. Positive thinking. I feel like you've had a negative thought process because this person wasn't paying attention to you and you may have been feeling rejected. But sitting there feeling rejected is not going to solve the problem. You can feel it and then put it away and then go up to this person and say, Hey, ABC, this is what I need. This is what I want. And just go ahead and do that because here's your advice here. The nine of pentacles. She's got nothing to lose. The nine of pentacles. She's already in her abundance. She has money in her bank account. She has a nice or a decent. She has a roof over her head. She has food in her fridge. She has a vehicle or she has a bike or she has transportation. However it is that she gets a lot. She's very independent. She can handle this on her own. So you have nothing to lose, male or female. There's something that you want from somebody or something that you need <clears throat> to make a reunion happen or to make this connection to bring kindness and love and happiness and a, uh, to bring about a family connection of some sort or homecoming of some sort. Then, it, then you need to communicate that. The twos are partnership. And look, obviously, they're in an exchange here. They're exchanging. Okay. This person, their environment, this person is feeling some type of a heartbreak. They have a sadness around them. Now, they actually, you know, there is a possibility that they could say to you, no, no. I, I don't want that. I'm busy working. I'm busy doing this. I'm busy, do, you know, I've got a lot. But they could also be telling you that they're sorry they didn't mean to hurt you and then making some type of a proposal or an offer to you. Because I feel like, honestly, 
the reason why you're having this problem with this person is because there's you're not telling them what's going on. Like you might be you might be ignoring them or you might be just bitching about it or nagging or giving them the silent treatment or doing whatever just to get them to wake up. No. You really need to communicate. And if they tell you no, this isn't what I want, then you move on. But I don't think that's going to happen here. I feel like they, you know, there may be like some type of an argument, but then there will be like a making up at the same time. Okay. Your hopes is that you will have communication with them and you'll be able to message them and be direct, but you're also fearing that you might be too mean. And so that's really just advice for you to just be firm in what it is that you need to communicate to this person. You don't have to be mean about it or throw a fit or get mad or anything like that. You can just but be straightforward and direct because that's what the Page of Swords is. I feel like this person is going to try and reconcile or, tr or have a reunion with you. I feel like there will be some type of an apology. Please know it doesn't have to be an air sign. It could be any sign. It's just the this person will take on the energy of they will listen and they will communicate with you once you bring it out into the open. Your outcome is beautiful. You have the magician. So there's a new beginning that will start here. Manifestation. And the two of wands, partnership. So either some type of travel where you'll get together. There'll be some kind of travel. They'll wait for you to come see them. You'll go see, um, they'll come see you, you know, or they'll be, they're waiting for you to come. There'll be plans that get made, things that put into action. You know, all resources get used. There's communication here. Something magical begins. And I think it's all because you having to just be positive about, you know, what you want to say to this person what needs to be said. It's just time to tell them. If they say no, as I said, fine, then it's a no. Then you move on. Because if they see, if they say no, I do see uh, new beginnings happening here for you with the magician and the two of wands. Partnership is available. It'll even give you the opportunity to begin to manifest a new beginning in your life. Instead, because I feel like, now this may not be for all of you, but I feel like a lot of you are just kind of like, maybe have been contemplating, should you ask for what you want or should you say, a lot of you are fearful to bring it out into the open, ask for what you want or say what you need to say because you're fearing that um, they'll say no and then they'll be gone and that'll be it. And you know what? Uh, well, I mean, what do you have now? Do you have them now? You know, so it's like you, you, you win in the situation. If they say no, at least you know and you can move forward. But I don't feel like that's going to happen. But if they say yes, then you move forward there. So either way, it's a win for you. And I feel like um, it's really about having the courage. You know, you, you probably have been thinking about it for a long time or waiting for this person to make a move. But I feel... Your energy during this time is that it's time for you now to step up for what you want. You go after what you want, Sag, or Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm going to end your reading there. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys hopefully in January. All right, bye.